Hey guys, welcome to Outcart Vlog number two. So, there are a few bonuses to watching this vlog today. Bonus number one you will get to experience what is in this bag. Very mysterious. Yep. Note, this bag is available online on the store also. And bonus number two is that you will get the next best thing to fossil hunting on Sky yourselves by being able to watch the videos that I made when there last week. There are many reasons why I've started Outcrop. Um, from wanting to get a bit of business experience, uh, from needing a creative outlet in life. But uh, the primary two reasons why Outcrop exists is um, because of the need for sustainable fashion um, and my love of geology. So, looking at sustainable fashion, much of the clothing industry has two major failings and they are ethical reasons and environmental reasons. And so ethically, that means looking at the supply chain of how products are made, going right back to um, the workers in uh, the cotton farms or in factories making polyester to factories then making the t-shirts to then the printing um, side of things and at each of these stages workers can be abused. You may have heard some of the scandals in the past where these um, basically slaves have been crying out for help um, from these factories and places where they are basically being yes, slaves in forced labour um, and that's not right for obviously um, and if we all knew exactly where our products came from and could see the abuse that was going on, I'm sure that hardly any of us would be buying those clothes. And with the environmental side of things, it was said a few years ago that the uh, clothing fashion industry was the second most polluting industry ever in the world. Um, that was later shown to not be actually true, however, it is still one of the most polluting industries and in like the top 10, etc. And this is because of polyester that is used in most of um, t-shirts and products today. And that is basically a plastic that doesn't naturally biodegrade. So if you have an organic cotton top, it will eventually biodegrade and to have a polyester never biodegrades fully, it just gets smaller and smaller. It also requires double the energy that natural cotton requires to make into products and in addition to this it's often made in countries where regulations on pollution are very lax and so harmful chemicals involved in the making of uh, the polyester just get flushed out into the environment. Outcrop, while partnering with T-Mill, has a fully fair trade and ethical supply line, line going right the way back to our cotton farmers in India. We are also as environmentally friendly as possible, using renewable energy in our factories and low waste printing technology. If you want to find out more about our supply line, I'm going to be doing a future vlog in a few weeks time, going into all the details so you can see exactly where our products come from. So I think it's about time to find out what's in this bag. Now this is a rock collecting bag. You can use it for collecting rocks or having your geology hammer. Um, many other uses are found for it. However, in this, we have, unsurprisingly, a rock. Um, this was from our recent trip to Sky, and you'll hopefully be able to make out little ammonites in it. And that brings us nicely to the second major reason for outcrop, which is my love for geology. This sort of started at school. They didn't do geology in my school, but they did geography. And I particularly enjoyed physical geography. Not that I didn't like human, but I particularly enjoyed physical geography. 
And so this led me to applying for physical geography courses and I ended up getting a joint course at Aberdeen Uni alongside geoscience because I thought it sounded interesting and that introduced me to geology and from there I found what I wanted to study and so I switched to a full geology course and have never looked back since then. And so that's the main sort of point that I wanted to get across with this video. However, well done for watching, you made it this far. Now your reward is you get to go fossil hunting with Hattie and I. So we went to Sky for on holiday for uh, last week and uh, one of the days we spent a good morning um, at a place called something like Bariga Bay. I could never say it right, but yeah, so here's some of the footage and photos from our time. Hope you enjoy. We're going fossil hunting. Hi guys, so we've made the long trek from up there down the path to Bariga Bay. We are here. Well, the sedimentary bedrock here. The most interesting features I've found so far are these. Which to me look like burrows in the sandstone. So we were having little success. Hattie over here made an incredible discovery. We found our first actual fossils. Unfortunately they are just belemites, but here we go, some belemites in this layer. Um, here is a chunk of a bigger one. And here's some. So there is hope. There is hope. So we're making it up to the waterfall. There it is. Yeah. And en route, I found another one of these bad boys. Oh, here we are. So we've made it to the waterfall. Found more belemites, of course. Point to the crinoid, Hattie. Crinoid, we think. We think it's pretty thin, but probably. Belemite. Hope you enjoyed your virtual fossil hunt. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.